Hello, my name is Ray Wall, and I'm here today with Gillian Barber and Christy Brody. And they're the co-directors of Medicine Hat Musical Theatre's upcoming production of The Wizard of Oz, The Panto. Hi, Christy. Hi, Gillian. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you some questions about your background and about musical theatre. How did you each get involved with Medicine Hat Musical Theatre? Well, for me, um, musical theatre was kind of a fact of life as I was growing up. My, my mom and my brother were involved in productions starting with Oliver, I think, in 1988 or 89. So I was usually just this little kid kind of hanging around and watching things and didn't get on stage with musical theatre until their production of South Pacific. But and been, have been involved in several of the productions in their playhouse and in various capacities, makeup and props, all pretty much everything backstage. <laughs> oh, okay. But you haven't directed before? No, this is the first time for me. Okay, and how about you, Christy? How did you get involved? Um, I got involved because I knew Jillian about, we met about 10 years ago, and um, she kind of brought me into it at first with uh, Full Monty. One of the productions here is the one of the props persons, and from there ended up being a stage manager, but have never directed, so this is first director as well. Oh, that's exciting. So what made you decide that you'd like to throw your hat in the ring, so to speak, and try directing? Um, part of it was just timing, that between work and going to school, that it was a good time, that this semester is a little lighter for me, so I had the time to try directing, and something that I thought would be interesting, it's just something different. Yeah, I've been involved in the last two pantos, just a stage manager, so I thought that it might be something that would be fun to, to try and see if it, you know. And how has it been? Has it been pretty challenging or? It's, it's had yes. its challenges <laughs> for sure. Um, we ended up sharing half of our cast with another production. So that was, that was a little bit tight at some points. Like it was. Oh, so it cuts into your rehearsal time. and Cut into our rehearsal time, thank you. And um, yeah, but other than that, all the cast has been wonderful. We've had people come aboard for, like, brand new people come aboard for um, tech and all of that. So it's, we've been quite blessed in this production for sure. There's a lot of things to think of when you're the director, right? You're, you're kind of in charge of everything, right? You have to oversee all aspects of it? Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> more than I thought. Oh, was there more than you thought? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> luckily, we have an amazing producer, so mm -hmm. she kind of kept us in line a little bit more. <laughs> but um, there's just, you know, a couple things that definitely didn't really think of when we first started, like sound cues, lighting cues, that kind of thing, like how we wanted the lighting, you know, never crossed our mind until someone's like, so when's the lighting scheme coming up? And we're like, oh, right. Oh, we're okay. in charge of that, too. <laughs> Okay, well that's great. Well, I'm glad that you've persevered and that the show is going ahead. Absolutely, yeah. It's been wonderful. Like, it's been a really good experience and we've had a great team kind of holding our hands through all of this, so. Oh, well that's great. So what made you choose The Wizard of Oz? Well, um, I was involved in the production of Wizard of Oz that Hatterland Children's Theatre did 15 years ago. I think it was 1998. Um, that was one of my first big roles on stage, so I just thought it would be kind of fun to revisit the story, but from the perspective of kind of poking fun a little bit, mocking the traditional MGM musical that everyone knows. So what can people expect from um, this production of The Wizard of Oz that's going to be a lot different from traditional productions? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's definitely not the Disney version. We like to say it's more of the Shrek version of things. So <laughs> definitely a little bit more of a poking fun at everything and a little bit more mm -hmm. parody in it. So and a lot more interactive. People are welcome to make all the noise they want and to interrupt lines and everything short of throwing things at our actors, actually. So it's it's definitely a different experience to see the show this way. You still get the traditional elements, the traditional story that people are expecting, but just with those little twists along the way. So how do you help your actors prepare for being interrupted? And, and I mean, they must have to learn how to ad-lib and be prepared for almost anything. Oh, 
We basically have just come to um, start shouting things at them ourselves. We heckle so. them. <laughs> we are the hecklers. We are the hecklers. Heckling your own actors. Okay. Yes, yeah, just, just to keep them on their toes. So <laughs> we try our best to make sure that they have the audience experience from the very beginning. Yeah. So luckily we have our choreographer, Tristan, is fantastic at just being right in there and being that little kid that interrupts in the middle of things and doesn't follow instructions so they have a sense of what actually might happen during the production okay well that's great so i have the information regarding the wizard of oz the panto the show dates are december 6th 7th and 8th at 7 30 as well there is a two o'clock matinee on december 8th and then the following weekend December 14th and 15th at 7.30 with a two o'clock matinee on the 15th. Although I am told that the, the December 15th evening show is already sold out, so you better get your tickets quickly for the others. And tickets are available at the Medicine Hat Musical Theatre website, which is MHM Theatre. Theatre is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E dot -E com. Or you can call Della at 403-502 three four seven seven